of the evening, scheduled for one fall with a 60-minute time limit. First of all, let's introduce the referee, Eddie Sharkey. Introducing, first of all, team number one at 220 pounds from Hollywood, California, J.B. Trask. One of his partners is from Russia. At 270 pounds, the Russian assassin, Chris Markov. And the third member of the team from Amarillo, Texas, at 250 pounds, he is the long rider, Wild Bill Irwin. And ladies and gentlemen, first of all, their opponent from Edina, Minnesota, at 240 pounds, Steve-O, Steve Olsonowski. From Portland. Oregon at 275 pounds, the Olympic strongman, Ken Patera. And ladies and gentlemen, representing Germany at 270 pounds, he is Clawmaster, Baron von Reschke. One fall with a one hour time limit. folks strap yourselves in with the seat belts we are ready to go for six man tag team action our main event from friendly plaza jb trask along with the russian chris markov and the long rider wild bill Irwin. and the fans are waving those flags and markov is hot well you could talk about glasnost and detente and everything else but this is one russian who does not subscribe to democracy in any way, shape, or form. Chris Markov's hatred of the American way of life has gotten worse over the last 20 years that he's been in this country. On the other side of the ring, the very talented former national heavyweight champion, Steve Olsonowski from Edina, Minnesota, along with Olympic strongman, the first man in history to press 500 pounds over his head. Kenny Patera, and of course, the Clawmaster, Aaron Von Raschke. One fall with a one-hour time limit, and referee Eddie Sharkey certainly has his hands full tonight. Markov locks up with Steve-O. Markov in behind. Looked like a yank of the hair. But Olsonowski with an arm drag and another yank of the hair by Markov. And another yank of the hair, and this time Markov maintains the hold. Wait a minute, Sharkey caught him. He forces the break, and now Olsonowski grabs a handful of hair on the Russian, and again! Oh my word, these guys are going to look like the Baron by the end of the night. A tremendous crowd on hand, and they are pumped, and they are into this one. And Chris Mark, oh, now he's threatening the fans with waving American flags at ringside. Bill Irwin, hip lock, oh! Olsonowski missed with the elbow, Irwin in behind with the arm bar. Fast and furious wrestling action from Friendly Minnesota, courtesy of the NCWA, and brought to you tonight by the Friendly JCs of 49er days. I'm Marsh and I am delighted to bring the wrestling action tonight. A Beach Rask out of Hollywood, California has been a pro for a couple of years but he's got an attitude, let me tell you. Wild Bill Irwin, on the other hand, the long rider, has wrestled in virtually every major wrestling arena in the country and in Japan. He 
He and his brother, the late Scott Hogg Irwin, a tremendous tag team combination. Throughout the 1980s, they wrestled in the state of Minnesota as the Long Riders. He's wrestled in Dallas. He's wrestled in Atlanta. Every major wrestling center has seen Wild Bill Irwin. And those very, very controversial cowboy boots that he wears into the ring, certainly those are not regulation wrestling boots that he's got on there, and many a pro has complained about those boots. Wait a minute. The Baron has been tagged in. Here comes the Master. Oh! again oh man and now steve -O gets a shot in bill irwin looked like a handball inside a handball court he was bouncing all over the place there listen to this crowd that baron von raschke when he looks that look oh Irwin tried to throw the Baron off, and Baron is well submerged in those golden locks of Bill Irwin, and now, oh, Irwin is trying to return the favor. There's nothing up there, Bill. I had Baron Von Raschke on Saturday night at ringside a couple of weeks back. We had an early picture of the Baron when he had a hairline. He said it was a an early shot of Robert Redford. Well, J.D. Trask wanted in. Oh! Barron with a chop. Bill Irwin hesitated. He was going to try. Oh, Barron's got them both. Hello! But Markov in with the double sledge, and now Barron's taking care of him. The Barron is a one-man riot squad in there right now. Tremendous wrestling action from Freddy Plaza. Now the strong man, Kenny Patera, who picked up 120 pounds of J.B. Trask like he was a one-pound bag of Oreo cookies. Oh! That is a place J.B. does not want to be right now. Oh, man. Well, he managed to extricate himself early enough to avoid real serious punishment from Kenny Patera. Oh, what a close line. My God. We got to check and see if J.B. Trask still has a head on his neck. Those oak tree-like arms of Ken Patera. He competed, of course, in the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich, Germany. He was the first man in the history of the world to press 500 pounds over his head. My God, can you imagine? And now Bill Irwin makes the mistake of trying to get in there. And now Patera's got Irwin and Markov. Kenny Patera, very proud of his American heritage and his Olympic background in particular. And any time he can get into the ring with the likes of Chris Markov or anybody who professes to hate the American way of life, Patera signs that contract right away. And now the one and only Clawmaster drills J.B. Trask into the waiting knee of Steve Olsadowski, who just got married, incidentally. Steve-O doesn't look any the worse for wear. The honeymoon must have been a couple of weeks back. He's regrouped since then. Oh. <laughs> referee Eddie Sharkey, not only a tremendous referee, but a trainer of champions, the likes of ravishing Rick Root and the Road Warriors. Smash of demolition. Jesse the Body Ventura, all out of the Eddie Sharkey School of Professional Wrestling. 
Bill. Bill Irwin antagonizing the Baron. And that's exactly what he wants to do. He wants to distract Eddie Sharkey so that any skullduggery that's going to be done behind the back of Sharkey will be done. But that time, Irwin was ripped up by Steve-O from behind. Oh, they've each got a leg. This looks like Thanksgiving turkey time. Oh, make a wish. Oh, man. Oh, look at Bill Irwin. Oh, my word. Well, Bill Irwin won't want to sit on any bar stools for a couple of days. J.B. Trask with a shot on Baron Von Raschke and at least temporarily broke up the hold. Now the big Russian, Chris Markov. You talk about guys who have wrestled all over the world, Markov is one. He's held regional titles all over the globe, not only in this country, but into Europe. He came to this country in the early 1960s. He professed communist way of life at the time and he has not shown that way of thinking to this day and Steve Olsonowski jawing back and forth there. And now Steve-O is making his way to Bill Irwin's side of the ring and the long rider moseys on over to the other side. Markov has maintained that nerve hold on the trapezius area of the Baron. But Olsonowski comes in to try to break up the hold. Sharky catches him and forces him outside the ring. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, handling two men in a ring is a task. Four men is worse yet, but when you've got to work a six-man tag team match, you've got to have eyes not only in the back of your head, but on your boots and your elbows just to keep up with the action. But they don't get any better in the third-man capacity than Eddie Sharkey. Many American flags waving about ringside, they drive Chris Markoff nuts, I assure you. Well, now Olsonowski and Bill Irwin again, as Steve-O strays from his corner to draw with Wild Bill. And now it's double-team action on the Baron. There, J.B. Trask ends without benefit of any tag whatsoever. Sharky distracted on our side of the ring. The chance of USA, USA go up again here among this great crowd. I don't know how much the Baron can have left. Markov has been working on those nerves for quite some time. The Baron trying to fight to his feet now. He manages to break the hole, but there's Bill Irwin and J.B. Trask. To prevent the Baron from getting out of the corner, Steve tries to get into the fray now. And now Kenny Patera working on Markov. Patera Markov going at it as the big man from Portland deliver that elbow to the fourth of Markov. And now once again it's double team action in the corner.
Well, quite obviously, the strategy of Chris Markoff is to weaken the bear. Now, maybe he figures that by immobilizing that nerve on the right side of the Baron's neck and shoulder, he can affect the nerves going all the way down into the arm and, of course, into that claw that the Baron, of course, is a master of. That's got to be the strategy of Chris Markoff. The crowd is picking up the chance that they want the claw. I don't know how capable Baron is going to be of delivering that maneuver. At this point in time, he's at least got to make a tag and regroup. Steve Olsonowski, let's not underestimate Steve O, formerly a national heavyweight champion for the National Wrestling Alliance. A great scientific wrestler. He's been in this business for quite a few years now, and he's another one that will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody on any given night. Extremely popular and talented. Wild Bill Irwin hammering on Barry Von Raschke. Oh, my God, he might as well have written the Baron a letter. Baron had ample time to deliver the boot to the sternum of the long rider, Bill Irwin. There's a tag. Steve Olsonowski is loaded for Bear. Oh, look at him go. Oh, what an elbow. He nails Markov. He nails Trask. He's got him in position. Backbreaker by Steve O. In for the cover. This could do it. Oh. Just a count of two. Off the ropes. Oh, he missed the drop kick. Fifteen minutes. He left time. Fifteen minutes. Shot by J.B. Tress. You could hear that one all over the lot. He nailed Stevo. Trask is mounting a serious offensive, but there, again, taking too much time and telegraphing that elbow. Olsenowski out of the way, and now with a running clothesline of his own. Stevo in the top with the cover. I think he took some real, real serious damage as a result of that kick just a few seconds ago from J.B. Trask. This has been a back and forth seesaw battle right from the opening bell. Tremendous wrestling action. Six outstanding competitors. And we're very, very happy to bring it to you for Ridley Plaza tonight. Well, both men shake it up. Well, the sun is about to say goodbye to us here at the Fridley Plaza. The way these six feel about each other, they'd probably wrestle in total darkness. Olsonowski takes the Baron. Oh, and Trask wants no part of him. Oh, my word. He was a space shuttle all by himself. The Baron has got out of the claw hole right now. Here comes Irwin. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Referee, Eddie Sharkey. We're waiting for a decision from referee Eddie Sharkey. Yeah, I don't... Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the six-man tag, Steve-O, Kenny Patel, and Baron Von Reske. Well, apparently, 
The submission to the claw was obtained very, very early. And Baron Von Raschke, Stevo, and Kenny Patera are victorious. And now Patera's got a claw. Oh, my God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Baron counts the pin. What phenomenal wrestling action. We got to wrap it up from Fridley Plaza in Fridley, Minnesota. Mick Carr signing off on behalf of the NCWA and thanking the Fridley JCs, Big Jim Mitchell, the NCWA, and everybody involved with 49er Days. Thank you for being with us, everybody. Body slams and balls. So long. Ladies and gentlemen, wrestling tonight has been brought to you by the Friendly Jay.